it has been a minute since I have talked about the Hamlin Method, and I've gotten some messages like, hey, how's it going? Are you still doing it? Like, what's the latest? Because uh, my videos have been quite random lately. And in this video, I just want to share with you, yes, I'm still doing Hamlin. Yes, I still love Hamlin. I'm going to share with you why I love Hamlin, and then some tweaks I've been making that have, I think for me, that have been making a big difference. And if you're new here, my name is Rachel. I uh, Each week I put together low budget production videos on topics that uh, mainly interest me because I'm a selfish individual like most of us and uh, I just have some fun with it. But uh, like I say with every video, the gold is in the comments and selfishly there's times where I'm like, I should probably make a video on this topic I know nothing about because I know people will share their insights and that's where the value will be. So. Um, if there's anything you want to add to what I'm covering today, please do. Everybody else will benefit. And whether you have anything to add or not, just be sure to check out the comments. Okay, we will get into it. I still love the Hamlin Method. Still love it. I love it even more now that I have a nice workout space. It's like a studio in my garage. Great mirrors, which is really encouraging and is allowing me to see results even more. I am loving the results I'm seeing in my core. My legs are slimming down significantly. The only area that I'm not as pleased with are my arms. And um, in some of my research, I'm learning that women that reach their 30s, sometimes they start to gain weight in the back of their arms and their back and that it's related to posture. And I'm experimenting with some things, but all in all, I'm loving the way I look and I'm loving the way I'm feeling with Hamlin Method. Now, I will say I've been doing the model workout, a return to the model workout. I had a eight week custom rotation I did and a, you know, a consultation with Hamlin, which I recommend for everybody to do, but I like the results I get even more with the model workout. And I've been taking this model workout, which, and I have a video around how the model workout works, um, but, it's a series of one hour and an hour and a half workouts that alternate each day. So you have a day where you do an hour and then an hour and a half, an hour, hour and a half. And then another layer to that is there's a series of workouts where you're alternating each day for a week before proceeding to the next series of days. So you're doing like day one and two. Day one would be an hour workout. Day two would be a 90 minute workout. Day one and two through the course of a week. Of course, you take some rest days. And then day three or workout three, workout four, alternating through the week. So that's really how the model workout is intended to do. But what I've been doing is I just have been taking the hour workouts and I've just been alternating them as a week. I'm still seeing great results with it. It's just a lot easier for me right now. Work has been insane and I'm, I'm happy if I get a workout in. Um, I also find I get better results by doing the workouts in the morning. I'm also more likely to do the workout if I do it in the morning. It's just like out of the way. And I am making some modifications where in some instances he's not using hand weights, but there's room to use hand weights. So I use hand weights given my arms is the area I'm trying to work on. Um, I've also been hyping myself up a bit more to push myself and different plank positions or the slider workouts because they are challenging. And I will just tell myself, Rachel, don't be a little, you know what I mean? Um, and I pu I'm pushing myself more through that. I'm also really making it a point to be more engaged during the workouts. That's something I learned a lot through Tracy Anderson. And I find with Hamlin, if I engage my core more and I'm more in tune with my body, I do get better results with it, I, I think. <laughs> All these things are, I think, I'm no scientist. There's no, there's no controlled study here. These are just, I'm just a random person telling you what I think, which really has no credibility at all. Um, and a big thing, because if you've seen any other videos, you know I'm really into anti-aging. For the moves where there are crunches or things that can be straining on the neck, I'm supporting my head. I, I'm really trying not to strain my neck because... <laughs> That's how you can really age your neck, in my opinion. Um, so like little things like that, those are ways I'm making some modifications. And then here's another big one. I'm not stressing if I miss a day. I'm really not. And I'm also making it something where instead of being strict about, oh my gosh, I got to get the workout in today, I'm just alternating at times and going on long walks, which are easily an hour and a half. And 
it's just really nice for me to get outside and see people and have some fresh air and decompress. And I have said that one of my first videos was around how walking is underrated. I still believe that. And one of the things that really keeps me on the ham train is I feel like it's so much more flexible. I feel like it's encouraged, hey, yeah, try rebounding out, try weightlifting out, try these different things that may work for you. Everybody is so different. Um, I, I like that there's more of a culture around that with the Hamlin Method, and I'm just allowing myself to explore a little bit more. I've also been exploring a little bit with the T-Tap Method. It's a older workout program, very much like aerobic base like Hamlin. It's really focused around like lymphatic drainage. And um, there are times where I'll just do a 30 minute workout. It's like a basically standing, stepping, stepping in place workout, which is, you know, I, I, I find some, I find it can be great too. So in general, still loving ham, still loving the results of it, especially now that I have a better workout space. I'm giving myself more flexibility to do other things, and I'm still seeing great results. And I think a lot of that is because I'm taking the pressure off of seeing results and following the strict plan. And it's just so much more enjoyable, and I think I get so much more out of it when I approach it that way. So just really wanted to share with you uh, what's been working for me lately, still love the model workout, but I've just been doing the hour workouts and I've been alternating them. And then I'm not, I'm supporting my neck so I don't, you know, age my neck even more. And I'm walking a lot more and I'm just dabbling in other things, but I still love him. Um, I, I still think it's great. And I think the thing I love most about the Hamlin method is it doesn't make me overly hungry and it's very slimming for me. So... I'm 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 still loving it for those big reasons. If I can give any if I can leave anyone with some advice and advice I'm giving myself it's to not take these things so seriously and not be so critical about yourself. How many times have you seen a photo of yourself and you're like, "Oh my gosh, you look awful." Only to fast forward a few years and to love the way you look and be like, "Oh my gosh, you actually looked great." Okay? Like let's not take things so seriously. How fortunate we are that this is like a big problem for us is like trying to get our dream physique. Wow. But you know what I mean? Anyways, as with every video, thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next one. Thanks.